I gave up the corporate life to pursue my passion for kayak fishing full time. And a few times a year, I get to link up with the guys at Fish Village for an adventure. We take our kayaks to remote locations around the world in search of new and impressive fish. And I'm catching fish like this. Got two fish on it at once. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. Woohoo! Yeah! What a fish! Yeah! All right, so I'm here with the guys from Fish Village and we're about to go on a three-day mothership trip to San Clemente Island off the coast of Southern California. Uh, we just got here to Fisherman's Landing where we'll be getting on the Islander, which is an 88-foot boat. There's gonna be 22 of us kayak anglers with 22 kayaks uh, fishing around the island, living off the boat for three days. So right now we're just loading everything up. Then we're gonna go get a beer and some food, kind of wait to load on the boat. And uh, we'll drive through the night tonight to get to the island. Um, hey, why don't you take uh, like four or five of your beers out of your bag? Yeah. Put them in here. The Yeti right now. Okay. You want to a couple more or is that it? So Pure Water Sports is a huge Hobie uh, dealer here in Southern California out of Dana Point. And the owner, Tim, is coming with us on the trip. Should be a good time. Hey. Got the Outback Army going on out here. I like it. You gonna load up I'm kayaks first? Uh, no, it's what we're gonna do is all your terminal gear first. Your okay. boxes, rods, all that, we'll set them aside and we'll come back up and just get straight to kayak business. Okay. Shuffling all down like that. We'll do probably uh, four at a time, getting them down, four on, four off, so we can have room to get them work around the deck and get that stuff up to the work class trips. Right, I'll, I'll swing. Captain, what's your name? Dave. Pleasure. Nice to meet you, Rob Chow. Yeah, pleasure, guys. So, um, yeah, it's 6 o'clock. I think that's what we're shooting cool. for. All right, then I'll, I'll come down, check in with you at 545. And if you get 6 looking good, then I'll tell everybody. Yeah, let me go in the office here and give John a call, and okay. then I'll, I'll be right back. Okay? All right, thanks. Stoked. Stoked. Have you been on this trip before? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, a couple of years. Nice. This crew is, like, really good. Too. That's what he is, that's what they've been telling me. Yeah. They just, like, take care of everything. Fish all yeah. day. Bring you food. Yeah, full service. That's a lot of gear. 22 people. It's a good thing it's a big boat. So now we've got uh, about an hour and a half to kill until we can start loading up on the boat at 6 o'clock. So we're going to head over here to Mitch's Seafood House, get a little grub before we load up. Works out. Oh, I'm so to be here, man. I've heard nothing but killer things about the trip. I forgot what you said. And I think Rex said something like, Robert said, you're an alright guy. I'm like, nah, he lied. I suck. Yeah, that's not what I told him. He's just being polite. He couldn't say what I really told him on Facebook. Look at that bird, dude. Dude, the bird's going for it. Yeah. Look at this bird, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, he swooped at it like three times, bro. 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 <laughs> He's going for it. That one is pissed. Oh my god, I would love nothing more than that. <laughs> this guy's flying a drone, he's got some seagulls trying to take it out. Dude, that was close. I thought it hit, I thought that was it. This harbor houses the America's largest sport fishing fleet from the perspective of passengers. Oh yeah? So more people go sport fishing through San Diego than anywhere else? Anywhere else. Wow. So this right here is all sport fishing vessels? Uh, all these guys are. Is this like the sport fishing section of the harbor essentially? Um, there's multiple sections within this, but this is two gotcha. of the most famous. This is Fisherman's Landing, which we're in right now, that's right. inside. Right. And then this is H&M Landing, the side that we're on right now. Okay. Yeah, it's impressive, man. Like, just different. You know, it's funny to me. Like, the, the types of vessels are different here than on, yeah, for on sure. the Atlantic coast. No different than if we went from here to Alaska. You know, sure, no totally different. But yeah, it's so weird though, because like, oceans are all the same on some level. You know, it's weird how you know just different cultures just roll with different boats. So right now we're looking at the Islander. It's right over there, 88 feet long. 
It's a big boat. Uh, definitely one of the biggest boats. Of, definitely the biggest boat I've ever fished out of. And we, there's 11 bedrooms, 22 of us staying in it. Uh, we're gonna have 22 outbacks on that thing. Which, looking at it, it seems like it's gonna take some tetrising. <laughs> So that whole steel apparatus in the back, right? It's like on top a rack. Of a large, it's super big paint tank. Yeah. So hey. they'll, they'll do all the way across, and they get about fourteen, um, and then they and do, then they put them on the sides, right? Sides below, and a couple of sides below. It's awesome. Yeah. So Mike's been telling me that the crew on this boat are just hands down. I mean, they understand kayak fishing, they understand kayak anglers. What we need, they'll be loading the boats uh, up and out of the water, um, helping us rig them up. They understand everything from the live wells to all the mounts that we have. Uh, it's really going to make things nice. They're going to basically be doing all the work for us and uh, kind of spoiling us, honestly. Like, I hate being that guy that like doesn't It's okay for a couple days, man. It's going to take yeah. care of us. I'm excited. Got the Opa sandwich. Sunfish. I didn't even know it was legal to keep. Let alone eat. Yeah. Well, I saw one in La Jolla. Yeah. Okay. Best fish. Best fish ever. So good. About to try it. I've never had it. This is really good, dude. Opa. I wouldn't wash it I ran into one when I was fishing with Kevin back here in October. Dude, he was like, look, there's a sunfish. Opa. I'm like, where? Oh, so I'm getting the camera out. I'm telling as fast as I can. I'm like, where, dude? Where? You know, get the where? I'm saying, he's like, he's, he's right in front of you, dude. He's like, slow down, you're gonna run into him. I was like, what are you talking about? Where did Dunk? <laughs> Freaks out. Ran right into it. Damn it. Seal. Sea lion. Sea lions. Bring him on down, and then we're gonna do kayak class. So this is the shit, this is the Islander that we'll be on for the next three days. 88 feet long, big boat. Oh guys. I hear that the food on here is exceptional. Better than most hotels I have, Santa. Bathrooms. So we just boarded the Islander. It's an 88 foot boat. We're here with Fish Village. They've organized this trip. We're gonna be mother shipping 22 kayak anglers and 22 kayaks out to San Clemente Island, about 40 miles. 60. 60 miles off the coast, leaving out of here in San Diego in about 30 minutes. Uh, so we're rigging up rods right now. We've got Mike Ponce back here. He's the one that organized this trip with Fish Village. Uh, we got Joe filming this. He helped organize it too. Uh, come this way towards the back of the boat. Uh, here's most of the kayaks right here. Uh, we got primarily Hobies here on the trip, mostly Outbacks. Uh, they've got this thing rigged up. Um, you can just see there's gear everywhere. 22 kayak anglers worth of stuff. Come in here, we'll show you inside. Yeah, tight squeeze. This first one? Oh, second one. This is why I recommended a slightly smaller bag. Now hang a quick left. This is your home, buddy. Half the room sticking up by the bag. My bad. <laughs> you like top or bottom? I'm a bottom kind of guy. <laughs> Would you be I surprised? Guess that about you. Yes. Old guy coming through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there not an age limit on this boat? <laughs> I'm saying that till Tim's out fishing me or next or the, Where are you at? Am I on your way? Yeah, I'm right behind you. Pretty Perfect. Much. Right in the way. I'm right here. You got plenty of room? Oh, yeah, we got, we got a nice suite. Oh, yeah, you got the penthouse suite. It's roomier than I thought, Ooh. actually. Like, yeah, there's there's a whole other. We got section. three bumps. So this is half of it. Mm -hmm. Wow. So what? Impressive. We'll go back outside, though. I'll show you the top deck. It's pretty sweet. Excuse me. No, you're fine. San Diego Harbor. 
It's my first time really being at San Diego Harbor. Uh, this is H&M Landing. Started in Fisherman's Landing. And this is where we'll be leaving from and just kind of motoring through the night to get to San Clemente Island. We'll get there in the morning and we'll start fishing pretty much right away. It's the bow of the boat. The captain will be up here driving us through the night. still shove off. Stoked. So we'll basically wake up and just be there and start fishing right away. All right, guys. Well, my name is Mike. I'm one of the sponsors on the trip. I'd like to say hello if I haven't met you guys already. It's my son, Dawson. He's with me. Dawson can show his dad up. He makes uh, fishing lures with me, and this is what we do. We make fishing lures for, uh, for you guys. But what I did is we created a... Uh, created a little gift pack for everybody. Some uh, swim baits, some irons if you guys want some. We got a bunch of uh, lead heads and some jigs to fish with calicos. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pass them out and you guys can fish them and make your own decisions on how you like them. I think you will. Awesome. All right, Woo! good deal. Thank you, Thank you. That's appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I believe it, I believe it. I, I am actually met him before the trip to Frank died. Uh, just a couple things to go over, I won't take up too much time. But My name's John, I'll be driving the boat for you guys. Uh, in the galley we have Jake here, uh, our second captain Ryan right there, our other second captain is Dave driving the boat right now, and then uh, we also have Steve, Carter, and, and uh, Peter. So if you guys have any questions or concerns at any time during the trip, let myself or any one of these guys know. Uh, they'll be hustling for you guys all the trip moving your kayaks around, they're very nice, eager, approachable, so anything you need, feel free to uh, hit them or hit myself up. Uh, we do breakfast right around 5, between 5.30 and 6 in the morning, uh, as we're getting the anchor down, getting everything set up. We do lunch at noon, and dinner is when we're all done, which is between 8 and 8.30. Beer is in the cooler over here, if you guys want one, we got a pretty big uh, assortment of that. Just let uh, Jake know, he'll be happy to hand it to you. We can drive that stuff out in the skiff tomorrow for you as well. Okay, well, we'll jump right into the fishing. As I said, we have the bait already, uh, so we're going to head straight out. We have a full load of sardines, and we are going to try to make some bait tomorrow night. Uh, we are going to start in Pyramid Cove tomorrow. Uh, and as far as the fishing goes, a lot of you guys have done this because you're getting off the boat. Ask myself or any one of the guys, we're all pretty knowledgeable as far as this island goes, the photography goes. So uh, you know, I'll give you my two cents where I think you have the best shot at a halibut or a yellowtail or a calico bass or whatever. I think that's it in a nutshell, unless you guys have any questions about anything. Okay. Uh, and in that case, enjoy yourselves tonight, and we should be there probably be kicking the anchor over right as the sun's coming up. All right? See you guys in the morning. Thank you. Right now, everyone's just kind of rigging up, getting all their stuff ready, rigging their rods, getting all their gear organized. Uh, we're going to leave here about 8 p.m. from San Diego. We'll kind of motor on through the night, just kind of a casual pace. We'll get to San Clemente Island kind of first thing in the morning. We'll wake up there, start dropping the kayaks in, and go fishing. Coming up in the first fishing episode, we'll wake at sunrise in Pyramid Cove, 60 miles offshore at San Clemente Island. 22 of us spend day one working to figure out this diverse fishery before I hook into a very unwanted bycatch. Beautiful fish, man. Nice halibut. Stingray on the live bait. Great way to start off the morning. Got me an octopus. No way. Woo! I'm currently hooked up to a sea lion. What do I do? You see this? 